Hey guys, in this video I am going to do review of JJRC H68 drone. I will also explain how to operate and its complete functionality. Here is the box. Let's do the unboxing first. Packaging looks good. Box comes with USB charger and two 1800 mAh batteries. 720 pixel camera, camera holder, cell phone holder, landing guards and propellers. Drone size is almost 13 inch, its weight is less than 2 LB. This is the remote control, it does not come with the battery. Box also comes with user manual in several languages. Let's do the installation. First of all, install two landing guards at bottom. Screw them properly. And install the propeller guards all four sides. You also get extra landing guard, propeller guards and propellers with the box. Install two joysticks on the remote control. You also need to install the battery. And also install the phone holder to the remote control. Now at bottom of the drone install the camera holder. Then align the camera to the slot of the gimbal and press it until fixed. Now install one of the battery and make sure cable is plugged in. Make sure you charge the battery before you use. It takes almost 120 minutes for fully charge. Let's power on the drone. As soon as you power on, LED light will blink at the bottom of the drone. Now your JJRC drone is ready to fly. Before we fly, let me show you how the remote control works. This is the on and off button. Reset. Launch and land for same button. Ascend. Descend. Forward. Backward. Right sideward. Left sideward. Turn left. Turn right. 3D flips or rolls. Speed high or low. These are the calibrating buttons. Let's move along to the flight move. I got the connection to the JJRC app and also connected the drone Wi Fi on my cell phone. I will provide JJRC app link in description. You can start recording video here on the app. I have power on the remote control and let me just press the takeoff button. And here you go. Drone camera angle is 45 degree adjustable. Camera angle can be adjusted by your hand, not the remote control. I'm enjoying the flying and stably records wonderful moments from the air with the awesome perspective. Video recording is smooth and stable. I will show you the recording later in this video. It is slight windy here. I suggest don't fly if it is too much windy. You will not have to worry about orientation and out of control, which makes the drone easier to play. Smartphone control your drone by gravity sensor. Just tilt your phone to any direction you want and the copter will fly accordingly. With the built-in Wi-Fi module, you will get a live video of your camera on your phone. Operating this RC drone by your phone, a real-time view will display on the screen of your smartphone and you can share the enjoyment with the friends. As you can see, landing is very smooth. Make sure you plan flight routes with the built-in map on the app. The mini drone will fly as you want once customized flight path function activated. It is making you enjoy more fun. As you can see, operating by remote control is very easy and smooth. This drone support 2.4 GHz frequency.
Let me show you 360 degree flip. Wow, it's amazing. Three speed mode suitable for beginners, intermediates and the experts. Let me show you the footage which I captured on my phone with this drone camera. Video footage looks great to me. RC maximum distance is 100 meter. FPV distance is approx 50 meter. You got 20 minutes flight time with single charge battery and total 40 minutes with the both battery. 40 minutes is much much better. It is more fun to fly this drone in playground rather than playing in the conjected area. The motors and circuit board may heat up with the use. Take a 10 minutes cool down break between flights to ensure your parts last as long as possible. It is really high now. Video resolution also depends on the sun direction. This is safe enough for the beginners and expert because the FPV drone comes with durable rubbery plastic and protection guards. I feel this drone is very powerful. Don't recommend to fly too high in windy day. I need to make sure it doesn't get stuck in the tree. If the drone is out of range, then video gets stuck. The drone camera is not waterproof. You can also accurately lock the height and location. It makes the video shooting and photograph taking more stable. A headless mode can make the drone's front side of the same as the forward destination when the drone take off, making it easier to fly to your destination. I don't recommend this drone for indoor use, but it is great for outdoor use. Its price is very reasonable, just under $100. I have provided buying link in description if you are interested. It is very easy to fly, I am having a lot of fun. I think this drone is really good for learning purpose and more fun while outdoor video shooting from the top. I always recommend as the price is very cheap. You should try and let me know your experience in comment box. Thank you for watching and see you next time.